are you today, Sunshine? So today I'm gonna talk about how something I find funny is offensive to somebody else. In the past, I had problems for being too honest or to just saying what I think and I find it funny personally and the other people find it really offensive and start becoming defensive and that makes them feel like they are allowed to be offensive. I find that sad because I want to just make a comedic impact. I want to add this like kind of loosen up thing to it and with it I offend people. For example, I could also use PewDiePie because anything he does is noticed by so many people and I understand that his fans, his true fans, are not gonna be offended because they know him and they understand that he was being sarcastic, that he's joking, that he's not serious at all and especially it brings traffic from people who are not his fans then everything can be twisted around. It happened to YouTubers numerous times. And yes, it happened to me too. Not on this channel, at least not uh, when I'm recording this, but it did happen on my other channel when people don't know me. People don't know what I do and then I just went out of the boundaries. Not that it matters like what I normally do. The content I make there just brings random people each time I make a video. So it can get really difficult on me because I just wanted to make it fun. Like, I understand that your boundary is a bit different than mine and people have offended me before and I know how it is when somebody offends you on purpose or when somebody offends you by joking. Like, I didn't mean to offend any of those people at all. It was just like, I wanted to add this like personal twist to it and people just took it as I did something to them. I don't know, like I am pretty sure that if people who I supposedly offended would see the video, they would laugh about it. And if not, if it's a trigger for them, they should really look into it because triggers are there to to show you what you still have to work on. So I'm pretty sure that if they can, for what they do, they should be used to this and I'm pretty sure they heard much worse things in their lives. Yeah, I know why this turned out as an apology, but like even like the smallest thing can be triggering for someone. People think that everything they believe and everything they see and know is the holy grail. Everything that exists, everything that should exist, and your opinion is absolute garbage and you should not be on YouTube because I'm just here to tell you that Everything you do is just for me to shit all over it. I would hope that the times would change and we would become more open and accept more different opinions rather than becoming even more and more closed and be happy to be hiding behind that username without the picture and just commenting the meanest things. That is just a YouTube bully. I'm not a bully. Yeah, if you're just going on people's videos to like hate on them, you're definitely a bully. Not to mention that one bad comment is like a sore thumb. If you have one sore thumb, you forget that you have nine other fingers that are not sore. So that's with the comments. People say good things, people compliment, and you just, oh yeah, great, and skip. And then the bad one comes and you feel the need to defend yourself, like what happened to me and happens to me. That's ego talking and ego wants to be right. I should just know that no matter what I do, no matter what I say, I cannot change the opinion of the person. But I have hope to be able to do that. So it's the same, like you can't change the person, so you can't change the opinion of them. No matter what you say, so you better just, if it's too offensive, delete the comment or ignore it. But to explain anything, it's not gonna work. Very good ending, isn't it? No, seriously, pay attention to those nine that are good. Just a little scroll through it, and if you see it and then assume it's bad, just don't read it. Thank you very much for watching, you know, I'm always coming at you with guns of love. Bye! <laughs>